we're just two months away from the projected debut of the iPhone 16 series. This year's iPhone 16 series is expected to have new camera enhancements, larger displays, quicker performance, and other improvements. Should you get an iPhone today or wait till the iPhone 16? Here's all you need to remember. It may seem that the iPhone 15 was just released yesterday, but time passes quickly. The iPhone 16 is presently scheduled to be introduced in early September. Based on previous events, I believe the iPhone 16 event will take place on Tuesday, September 10th. Pre-orders for the iPhone 16 will begin on September 13th with a release date of September 20th. Apple revealed Apple Intelligence, a package of artificial intelligence features that will go live later this year, at WWDC 2024. Apple Intelligence features include a more powerful Siri, Genmoji, Image Playgrounds, Chat GPT integration, and more. Apple Intelligence features will, however, be limited to the iPhone 15 Pro and later. This implies the iPhone 15 will not be compatible with Apple Intelligence. The A18 processor inside is believed to be used across the iPhone 16 series, along with more RAM. This suggests that, unlike the existing split between the iPhone 15 lines, both the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro are anticipated to feature Apple Intelligence. Every summer, we get a slew of inquiries from readers regarding whether to purchase the previous year's iPhone model or wait for Apple's new release. Even if you're not interested in the most recent iPhone features, the advice is the same, wait. Waiting for the iPhone 16 to be released is advantageous, even if you eventually opt on an earlier model. Following the release of the iPhone 16, the prices of earlier iPhones from both Apple and third-party dealers will fall. August is typically the worst month to buy a new iPhone, regardless of whether you want the most recent version or not. The fact that the iPhone 15 lacks Apple intelligence makes it much more difficult to recommend right now. Apple has made it obvious that Apple intelligence will play an important part in the future of the iPhone, so purchasing a phone that cannot take use of those features right now is not a good choice. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.